Hey moms, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to take you guys along with us on our homeschooling day, but today's gonna be a little bit different. I'm only gonna be recording our Abeka curriculum. So that entails Bible, language, spelling, writing, and reading. And we're just gonna show you our take on homeschooling with video led and how we incorporate some parent led things from our video led curriculum. So I hope that you guys have your favorite drink and you guys are ready to hang out with us for a little while. So we are going to go ahead and get started with Bible. Now with Bible and Abeka, we do the parent led. She actually has the streaming for Bible through video led, but I just purchased the Bible curriculum flash of cards on the side and I do the teaching on my own. I prefer to do Bible with her. I think it's more fun and it gives us time to bond over God's word. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. So let me see what we're working through today. Mm -hmm. I start off using my Bible curriculum and this is for the teacher led. I would suggest taking these pages out and putting them into some sort of binder because they rip and they're falling out. It's driving me nuts. I just haven't changed it. So I'm just gonna go through their guide of how to teach. And I also have my lesson plan here or my guide that I actually read through for the lesson. And we are gonna listen to some music. And so it'll be fun. Okay, ready, Tally? Yeah, let's get this song. Page 124. Oh, say can you see that? Oh, King Eternal, page 59. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for letting us be in the house and being able to drink some water and food. Okay, so next she's going to be doing her Hebrews eleven twenty seven through 30. So I have my Bible opened here and I'm going to follow along with her. By faith he forsook Egypt, not viewing the wrath of the king, for he endured as seeing whom is invisible. Okay, so now we just go on to the next verse, and it's review for Matthew 5, 13, 16. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. So now we're just moving down on to every day with Jesus. So we're just going to work through this. I'm going to ask her questions. We're going to listen to some music. She'll do her reciting of the New and Old Testament. She does. It says new here, but we do new and old. And then we're going to look through the Bible for these actual verses and these chapters. And then we'll sing a little bit. So, tally page 26. And this is everything is Jesus. Tally find first Thessalonians four eleven. study to be quiet and to do your own business and to work with your own hands as we commanded you. 3 John 4. Okay, tell your book, page 52. So in this little block here, it shows what flash of cards you're going to need and what the lesson's going to be taught. 
and then you give them the flash of cards or you set them out for them and then you read this to them you read the bible and then you start reading through lesson the lesson through here so that's what we're gonna do now all right tally so the wall is finished under the leadership of Nehemiah, the Israelites finished the job God gave to them. Now it was time to turn their attention to God and worshiping him. So we are looking for 1227. 1227. Through what? 43. Dedication of the wall. And at the dedication of the wall of Jerusalem, they sought the Levites out of all their places to bring them to Jerusalem to keep the dedication with gladness, both with thanksgiving and with singing. Okay, so as I am reading my lesson, it'll tell me what flash of card that she needs to grab. And she has all of the ones she'll need for this lesson here. And she has our little book stand here. So when I get to the new section, for instance, once I get here, I will tell her to change the page and she will look for the little number here on the bottom. Okay, so 7-1 Ezra reads the law to the people. In spite of all the opposition, the Jews had completed the wall, hung the doors and the gates, and Jerusalem was secure at last. Okay, so I just read the last part of lesson seven, which was our last lesson for Ezra and Nehemiah. After each lesson, they give you this little review question um, page for each lesson. So I'm just gonna ask her her lesson questions, and then we are moving on to the next subject. Okay, Tally, you ready, babe? Yes. What was the purpose of the celebration? To get them closer to God. But why did they celebrate? Oh, because it was, um, God said to do it every year. Okay, but it was to dedicate the wall and the gates and themselves to the Lord. Oh, yeah. That's what the actual celebration yeah. was for. Did the Jews keep their three promises to God when Nehemiah was called back to Babylon? Nope, never. They broke how many of them? Three, all, all three of them. of them, yeah. How can we build strong walls around our hearts and lives? Try to do good deeds for people and for God. But what helps us with that? Praying. And what? And asking for his help. Yep, just knowing and obeying God's word, yeah. okay? You want to be a doer of the word and not, not just, just a hearer. Hear. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we are moving on. What do you want to do right now? Language, spelling, writing, or reading? Language. Language? Tally has all of her workbook pages in these booklets that I put together for her. And what I typically do with language is if it's something that she's doing review on, I don't necessarily have her watch every single video. If we get to a page where something doesn't make sense to her, that is when I have her watch the video. So she is spelling so I'm gonna check this out and see if she can do this without watching the video well noun ooh, is a word that takes place of a noun we already learned that okay, so real quick I wanted to show you guys this binder that I put together it's of different like um, cheat sheets and things for her so say she couldn't remember what a pronoun is she can go into her book here and the first couple spaces are arithmetic but here is her language these are the charts that i purchased through abeka they're for grade three and also i've printed stuff out and just added it in here into here for her so i've also taken things out of her booklets and put them in here so for instance language has like a glossary so you can turn to the glossary and where's pronoun pronoun right there so 
here's what the glossary looks like from her language book, but I've put it in here so that she can look things up if she can't find it. So pronoun is right here, it gives her a couple examples. But this was literally from her language book that when I took it apart and put her lessons into this booklet, I put these into her little cheat sheet binder and her charts and things. So that's where she can find those if she needs them. Okay, Tally, here you go, babe. Birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have Let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right the future is bright. So we are done with Bible. We are done with language. Tally basically did her language on her own. Um, if you saw in the video, she was using her helping pages um, because she was confused on a couple things on action verbs. And so she got to read the definition and saw a couple or a few um, examples of that. So it helped her better understand that and she is about to start her writing that i am having her watch on her video because she is supposed to be writing about a character or not a character a real person of her choice and we're thinking she's going to be doing it on james monroe the fifth president of the united states because we are related to him somewhere along the line i don't know um but so she is going to do a little bit of research on him we're going to pull him up on the internet and yeah probably through the encyclopedia and just read a couple things about him it's funny because in fifth grade for myself she's in third but i was in fifth and i did my report on james monroe and it was funny because my teacher she only gave out a few people to choose from i can't remember the people but i had mentioned to her that I was related to the, James Monroe, the fifth president, and so she let me do it on him. I was the only one in the class that got to do it on someone different, and I thought that that was so cool. So I literally remember sitting down and researching with my mom and my mom helping me write it. But you know, little memories like that. So I'm hoping that she has memories like that throughout her homeschooling adventure with me or journey with me. So Tally's about to start on her writing. I'm just snacking on my little power balls. I did make them in one of my videos, but I decided to make them into like these little tiny mini bites because it would be super easier to eat them while they're frozen because we like eating them frozen. And when they're bigger, it's hard. You have to bite into them and they're hard. So I thought that these would be cool because you could just pop them in your mouth and chew on them that way. And they're really, really yummy. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and get started. It's cool. Okay, I'll eat it. So good. Uh, the green ones are way better. Okay. Welcome to Writing Students Watching. Today we're going to begin step one in the writing process. Step one is read and gather. Take out page 103. And you're going to write the name and then you're going to write This page is where we're going to gather. Tally's gonna go ahead and get started with her writing. We're just snacking on some frozen grapes. Yeah. They are so good. You don't like them? They're too cold. Oh my gosh, they're so good. So, so, so good. If you get the grapes that have like a thin skin, they taste way better than the ones that have a thicker skin, if that makes any sense. But, um, okay, so she's gonna go ahead and get started. We're gonna start looking stuff up on the internet. Drum roll in. R O E. Mm hmm. And Sam. So, write his name in the center here. Pretty. Okay. Remember. Use the word web to write four details about the person. 
Okay, Tally, so it says that James Monroe was born April 28th, 1758, and he died July 4th, 1831. April. He was an American statesman, lawyer, diplomat, and founding father who served as the fifth president of the United States from 1817 to 1825. April what? When he was born? Mm -hmm. April 28th, 1758. What else does it say that's important? Don't write them on here yet. I want you to write a list of important things and then we'll decide what we want to put in your list. He was a lawyer. He was a lawyer? He fought yeah. in the revolutionary, uh, he fought okay, in the right war. here. Okay, so you said he was a lawyer, right? Um, they say that he was an American statesman, lawyer, and dip, okay, lawyer's good. Um, and he was a founding father who served as a fifth president. Yeah, but, hold on, but in revolutionary uh, do, to, war? Do, these are two different things, so cross oh, yeah. that out. You just want lawyer, okay? okay? Underneath, you could skip a line so you don't get confused. That he fought, he was in the army during the American Revolutionary War. How do you spell fought? F-O-U-G-H-T? Mm-hmm. In high school revolutionary. Rev. R E V. O. O. Lu. L U. Shun. S I O N. T I O N. Mm hmm. Airy. A O I. Four. Did you write that? Yep. You have to make sure that it's the American Revolutionary War. Okay, you have to have American uh, before that. So maybe just write an arrow like you do when you do proofreading. Your little. Don't you have to do yeah. an arrow and then you write American above it? Just write it up here. Oh, however you want to do it. Okay. James Monroe was the fifth president of the United States of America. On April 28th, 1758, James was born. He was he was in a Plana family and lived in Westmoreland. He fought in the Revolutionary War. James became the president on March 4th, 1817 through March 4th, 1824. As President Monroe helped negotiate the Louisiana Purchase, he was on the blue and red side. Good job. <laughs> Writing is done. So tomorrow she will complete the final draft of her James Monroe. We already proofread it. Um, I did want to show you guys this cool little, I don't know, I forget what they're called, like a sensory toy. I got one of these for my daughter and then I got one for my son for Easter and they love these things, especially my daughter. When she's sitting down doing work or watching her video, she's constantly just pushing these little bubbles in. You just push the bubbles in. And then once they're all pushed in from one side, let me get them pushed in so I can show you guys. You just flip it over and they start to push them again on the other side. And she loves playing with this thing and it keeps her hands busy so she can focus on what they're talking about. And I don't know, the only thing for me is it's kind of loud sometimes if I'm doing something and she's sitting over there pressing it, it could kind of drive you crazy. So you just kind of have to put it out of your mind and block it. And I know most of us moms can do that. So this is a really cool sensory hands-on. It was super cheap. I got a two pack. I want to see for, say for like nine or $10. I'll link it down below. Another thing that she really likes to play with is the Aaron's putty. And I will put that down below for you guys as well. They have all different colors. They have different sizes because they can get pretty expensive. But you guys, if it keeps them you know, focused and sticking to what they need to get done while playing with these things, more power to them. Just, I would spend the money if you could. But, so I wanted to point that out to you. Um, so now that we're done with Bible writing and language, we are gonna go ahead and start on reading. She wants to do reading. Today, I think we're just reading through Heroes and Helpers. She did a little bit of extra reading yesterday. She'll do that sometimes if she feels like reading more. And she's actually really enjoying this secret in the maple tree. And my daughter is very hard to please with books. 
Um, but she's really enjoying this and she wanted to read more. So I said, you go ahead if you wanna read more. Um, so in Heroes and Helpers, I think that she has about 10 pages maybe to read, 10 to 12, and then I'll, I'll just show you guys how we work through this. Abeka gives you this reading guide, and this comes with your video led, because we're video led, like I said, but I always do reading with Tally as a parent led. And so what you basically do, let me see where we're starting here. So 122 is for the flag. Oh my gosh, let me show you guys these cool little things. I printed out these cool little fake checks on Pinterest. They were free and Tally was learning how to write checks even though those are pretty much obsolete now. I mean, I guess some of us still have them, but um, so she wanted me to print her out some little play checks. I just, I used it for her, her bookmark, but those are pretty cool. So anyways, so we're gonna start with For the Flag on 122. So when you open up the reading answer key, down here at the bottom, it'll tell you what book it's for. She's starting on page 122. So again, like I said, here's the name down here, Heroes and Helpers. And then you go to where it says page 122. That's the name, the pages. And then basically it says like character themes. You're gonna tell them, okay, this story is gonna be about kindness and loyalty. And then it has a place where you can introduce the story. You talk to them about the vocabulary enrichment words. And then you have them read 122. Here, I'm gonna flip you guys around so you guys can see. Okay, so here is your character themes. So this story is about kindness and loyalty. And then you're going to read this introduction to the story. You can tell them the um, vocabulary enrichment words. And then once she's done reading 122, I'm gonna ask her this question. There's the answer. And then I have her start reading page 123 and I tell her when you're done with 123, let me know. And then I ask her these questions because usually she reads these stories in her head. And then these, you just wanna make sure you're asking the answers to just because you wanna make sure that they're you know, co comprehending what they're reading. So these questions are actually really helpful. And then, so I'm just gonna have her read through here. Here's 125, I'll, have, I'll ask her these questions. And then I will briefly discuss this theme application. So basically I'm gonna tell her that it was kindness and this is why. And then, um, it talks a little bit about Bible application, like how this relates to the Bible or somebody in the Bible. Okay, so then I have her read page 126, ask the question, there's the answer, and then here's the think about it questions. And basically, I have this composition book for her for reading, and she answers those questions in here, and I just have her write the, the story name, the page, and the lesson number that she's on. So when I correct it, I know. Sometimes I just ask the questions. It just depends on how our day is going, if we're behind. Um, I'll usually just have her answer them for me, you know, to me instead of writing them down. And then you're just gonna, you literally, you guys, just follow along with this. And then you just move on and you do the next story the same exact way. So I really, really appreciate the way Abeka has this laid out. It makes it really easy as the parent to run the class. And again, this is a video led subject, but we just do it together and I go off of this and it's been working perfect. Um, we are gonna start with For the Flag Tally on page 122. For the flag. Um, your character themes are kindness and loyalty. Do you love and honor your flag? Willie was only a drummer boy in the army, but he loved his flag and what it stood for. After being wounded, Willie makes a sacrifice to show the love he has for his country. Um, one of the vocabulary words are regiment. Mm -hmm. It means a large group of troops. So what job did Willie have in the regiment? Drummer boy. Yeah. So sometimes it just says to do 124, but there's like one question and then 125 has a couple questions. So I'll have her read a couple pages and then we'll do the questions.
and I'm just getting ready to go over the list for spelling with her. So I'm getting all my stuff together and I'm just getting her pages that she needs to work through her workbook together so that I'm doing something while she's reading. has her trial test tomorrow. I wanna to make sure that she does well on her spelling test, so I'm gonna have her write her list as I tell her what the words are. So she's just using a lined paper. I'll show you. <laughs> she was mimicking me with her mouth. She was like lip talking as I was talking. Um, okay, Tally, so your first word is going to be capital. Cap Coconut. Make sure you're writing clear for me. <clears throat> Scenery. How did you spell that? Coco. C O C O N U T. Yep. Scenery. Scenery. C. No. Look at that one again. Remember, there's a silent letter in there. Rewrite it next to it. How you think? Scenery. Remember just that that is like a scene from a movie, oh, yeah. remember? Okay. Instead of Tally just writing it one time, she's been writing it three, four times each word just because her test is tomorrow and she wants to make sure to get an A so that she doesn't have to retake it. to mention to you guys if there are spelling words that she does not quite know what the meaning is then we will look it up in her children's dictionary some things are not always in here so we'll just pull it up on the internet but I do have her look for it in her dictionary just so she knows how to use a dictionary um, but we will do that as well if there are some words that she's not too sure of so I wanted to show you guys just to give you guys some ideas yes that's right that way does it tell you to circle or anything? No. Circle. Oh, circle and spell it. Pay attention to the directions. That is it for our spend the day with us while doing a Becca. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, so I hope to see you guys back on my channel. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit your notification bell. That way you are alerted anytime I have a new upload. All right, you guys be safe and be blessed always. Bye. If the wind could spread your love What if your sweetness could reach everyone